Good day YouTube, I have another video for you today. This is a dragon head in Creo Parametric. So I'm, I'm using Creo to create a dragon head. Um, it's a in interesting object to create and looks looks pretty cool. As you can see here, I use the style tool in Creo to create the the head so I'll just load up so I create half of the head and mirror it across so basically I made made all the surfaces with four curves defining the surface edges and then I use the surface tool to create them and so I create surfaces that blend with each other um, yeah, I started with the the eye up eye bit and start to build the surface using basic shapes. Yeah, I find the working with B spline it's actually a lot faster to just draw the curve. Uh, this took me about uh, on and off for three days to create. So I looked for a picture on Google and practice modeling the dragon heads and modify it, make it work for a dragon head. So as you can see, um, Creo is actually pretty intuitive for you to create the head. So I'll just accept that and go back to the 3D model. Okay, let's hide, minimize the ribbon and we'll m minimize this as well and just make it full okay so uh, tell me what you think um, I'm gonna save this model on a server so you can download and have a look at it yourself so uh, I just wanna make tutorial videos and example videos of Creo uh, Creo techniques so you can learn, other people can learn and create 3D. It's 2013, um, it's time to work with 3D for everybody and it actually looks, everything looks a lot cooler, you can spin around, see it in 3D there's lots more dimension so if you need to create objects for for viewing objects for people to download and see in 3D or create animation, YouTube videos and what do you call that? What do you call a modified video? You can dice and slice graphics and images to create a free model. So let's go to previous views. But yeah, so that's basically it to basically the tricks to create a 3D model of most most things are to the key is curves can blend with each other. So you can just draw a curve here and draw another curve and blend it together using the tangency setting. Um, if you want if you need if you want to learn more on how to do this, you can go to my Mario, actually um, make the Mickey Mouse tutorial and I'll show you how to, I showed you how to create the Mickey Mouse head using basically the same techniques. But yeah, it's also a good idea to get some reference and build your model. But yeah, so I um, for these round things, I made a curve here, made a curve on the bottom, and then create a round profile on the left and right, and extend it forward. The main challenge was actually to work with the proportion, just um, edit the curves in three views and make sure that it looks, uh, looks nice, looks nice and aggressive, looks like a dragon. Yeah, the note was a lot bigger, high before, looks sort of cartoonish. 
and it can take more time if you add a lot more details I was thinking of just adding the teeth, horns and a lot of hairs on the back as well but um, yeah I just want to make quickly make videos and show you the power of parametric what can be done, what can't be done so tell me what you think if you want me to model something else on Creo let me know if you want me to create a tutorial of how I did this just let me know as well because yeah it just takes more time and I'm not sure what people like so so look in the in the link in the information box for the link for the file and have a look around have a look at the file yourself and see what you think so that's that's the video um, hmm, what, what should I do next I might do something else I might start another car for the next project um, I've been starting a few car models, someone has given me a car model of a manufactured car so I'll study that and work on creating your model but um, another tip is it's very important to keep the surface um, keep it one span at a time basically, basically it means keep all the surfaces Um, don't have too many details on the curve so you for some surface you may need to divide up so let's say for the under bit of this eye I created two surfaces here to create this because um, I can make it out of one but it's better idea to divide in two so this surface and this surface are at a basic the most basic level as it can so you should separate all the surfaces that has too much detail so instead of creating one surface extend all across I create one surface here and another surface there so it's a good idea to divide your surfaces into different span as well so that will ensure that your, your model is clean looks high quality and the best at, as you can so I hope, I hope you liked the video that's it for now and if you have any question any comments let me know send me a private message hmm, what can anyone do with this model um yeah just play around have a look model something yourself and make your own video yeah maybe if you want you can reply to this video and um, share with other people and have a go doing it yourself uh, you, you you learn by doing it yourself so once you start making something you learn how to use the techniques and you remember it because you create that but that's it um this is it's currently Chinese New Year, so happy Chinese New Year everybody, see you later, have a good one.